Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Welcome to episode 118, and I'm going to title today that maturity, Christian maturity, has a whole lot of daily in it. Let me start with the passage. This is from Acts chapter 19, verse number one. This is my section in the my ESV Bible says Paul in Ephesus. Here we go, verse one. And it happened that while Apollos was at Corinth, Paul passed through the inland country and came to Ephesus. There he found some disciples. And he said to them, Did you receive the Holy Spirit when you believed? And they said, No, we have not even heard that there is a Holy Spirit. And he said, Into what then were you baptized? And they said, Into John's baptism. And Paul said, John baptized with the baptism of repentance, telling the people to believe in the one who was to come after him, that is, Jesus. On hearing this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. And when Paul had laid his hands on them, the Holy Spirit came on them, and they began speaking in tongues and prophesying. Verse 7, there were about 12 men in all, and and he entered the synagogue for three months, spoke boldly, reasoning and persuading them about the kingdom of God. But when some became stubborn and continued in the unbelief, speaking evil of the way before the congregation, he withdrew from them and took the disciples with him, reasoning daily in the hall of Tyrannus. This continued for two years, so that all the residents of Asia heard the word of the Lord, both Jews and Greeks. So when we left the story yesterday, I even, you talk about this progressive uh, maturity that happens. I said yesterday that Priscilla was a girl. Priscilla was a boy. Priscilla is the male. I'm sorry. Priscilla is the female. I had this wrong yesterday. Aquila was the male. They're the guys that helped correct the spiritual uh, inaccuracies of a guy named Apollos. They were in Ephesus for a while. They meet up with Apollos. Apollos is this very gifted speaker, but he has uh, some inaccuracies. They fix that, and then Apollos is going to go across the sea there to Corinth, and that's where we find uh, Apollos as the story enters, getting more spiritually mature. That's where you find your podcaster getting more mature, correcting errors that Prisca uh, was a boy because he's not. It's a girl. She's a she. Aquila is the male. So even, I mean, it's funny that the the lesson here about spiritual maturity and spiritual knowledge that it's even happening in real time. All right. I just think it's hilarious in the story today that you have believers here who haven't heard of the Holy Spirit. And uh, if you stop the the gospel, if you will, and, you know, John chapter, I don't know what the chapter is. I'm making this up. You know, John chapter 6 and before you get to John chapter 14 and John chapter 16 and the Last Supper and the kind of the culmination of the explanation of the Trinity and how it's at your advantage that I go away and the Holy Spirit is going to be indwelling. You know, if you cut the gospel off and you only have the first four pages or something, you can see how these guys got got that particular message but didn't get the whole message. So Paul comes, completes the message and they're baptized into it, and the Holy Spirit comes. It's interesting. I, I, one of the things that caught my eye was he explains to them about Jesus. They were baptized in the name of Jesus, and then they get the Holy Spirit. That the Spirit of what they get, the Holy Spirit, is the Spirit of Jesus. We've talked about that uh, of recent uh, ilk. And the Trinity kind of comes and indwells them. So one of the teaching points about this is then he goes and it's like, okay, so now they're baptized into the the, the fullness, if you will, of the Trinity. And then what? Well, then they go into the synagogue and for three months he speaks boldly and reasons and persuades. So he keeps keeps at it, but he finds the Jews there in the uh, in the synagogue, stubborn, unbelieving, continuing in unbelief, speaking evil. And so he leaves there and he goes to the hall of Tyrannus 
and he reasons daily because he took the disciples, the believers, he took them with, with them. So my, my point, I think the big point that's hitting me today is that every Christian, every day, in every country should be taking a step of more accurate, just like you saw your podcaster do there, uh, of more maturity, more obedience, um, more conviction. Uh, you've heard the line, uh, please be patient, God isn't finished with me. There's got to be a dot, dot, dot at the end of that, because it's also true that you should be more mature today than you were yesterday. So you can't just wallow in, you know, unfinished immaturity. And there's it, there's kind of like no place for the professional weaker brother or the professional weaker sister who refuses to learn, refuses to obey, refuses to serve, refuses to love. Um, we find that here the the Jews in the synagogue are are described as stubborn and continuing in unbelief, and then they they don't just do it inside their head; they do it with their mouth. They start to speak evil, and so that's why they get fellowship withdrawn from them. All right, so I think this is a a call today. One of the things there's a lot of things in this passage, but one of the things that hit me was this call for the daily quote unquote work of the word, of of meditation, of prayer, of exercising the indwelling uh, Holy Spirit, of exercising the spirit of Jesus Jesus within me by, let's say, service, by, let's say, ministry, uh, or by doing the one another's, maybe obeying fellowship, maybe breaking bread, maybe following the rhythms of the church, maybe it's sitting under some teaching, uh, some knucklehead podcaster or uh, a less knuckle-headed pastor. Um, it's using uh, actively your head and your heart and your hands and your tongue. It's the it's the one day at a time, but it is a long obedience in a single direction. So Christian maturity seen here in the church of Ephesus at the hands of Paul and these believers who hadn't even heard about the Holy Spirit get more mature. So does Apollos, so does your podcast, your Christian and maturity. It has a whole lot of daily all over it. Thank you for listening. I hope to see you tomorrow, which is another day.